why it's so important for you to be here at this convention? Well, this is always a great convention and to have the National NAACP back in Detroit to see all of the, the great things going on and the revival is really important, but particularly now because of what is happening, the divisiveness that is coming from the White House and really what I view as poison dividing people, racism and bigotry and so on. It's time for people to come together and say, this is not what we want our children to hear. This is not who we want our country to be. And it certainly doesn't make us stronger. What has been your reaction to this attack on the squad, if you will? How, how, how are you reacting to that? What are you doing about it? What are you speaking about it? Well, I certainly have spoken up to say that uh, this is wrong, and um, certainly what I see coming from uh, the president's tweets over and over again are looking for ways to divide people. Um, this isn't about whether or not I agree with every single thing that uh, the, the, any of the women say or anybody in Congress says. That's, that's not what this is about. This is about purposely attacking people and trying to, um, first of all, put words in their mouth of things they haven't said and to somehow create them as the enemy. And I think that's what's just really detrimental and corrosive right now um, is to have a White House that needs to have enemies, needs to have us pitted against each other somehow in order for them to feel they can be successful. That is not a long-term strategy for our country, and I'm going to stand up to it at every opportunity. As you're looking at the Democratic candidates for right. president, right. are there any issues or any people in particular that you're looking at to be the person that represents your party? Well, I know many of them, as you can imagine. We always tease that half my caucus is running, but um, I, I think we have fantastic people. I've not yet endorsed someone. I think uh, I want to hear what everyone else feels and says, and I think right now what people are most concerned about is to have somebody that that's competent and caring and the right values and the right ethics uh, that can stop what I believe is the careening of America off a cliff in a very, very divisive way and, and frankly, corrupt way. And so what I want to do is um, have somebody with the right morals and ethics and values. Your focus is Michigan, so when you yes. look at the candidates as well, what do you want them to focus on in our state? Well, all of the candidates talk to me, and I talk about manufacturing jobs. I tell everybody we make things and grow things, and so if we're going to have an economy and good paying jobs, you need to focus on manufacturing, large and small, uh, entrepreneurs, and you need to focus on agriculture. And then I talk to them about the Great Lakes and the fact that for us, when we talk about water and access to water and clean water, it's not just a throwaway line. This is deeply ingrained in who we are. And so I talk a lot about Michigan, and if folks want to come into Michigan, they need to understand what the Great Lakes mean. They understand that they need to understand that we make things and grow things, and that everybody wants to have a job where they only have to work one job for their family, not three or four. Mm -hmm. And what is your focus right now as you're leaving, going back to Washington? What are you working on? Well, I'm working on a number of things, but I'm laser focused on health care and on protecting the Great Lakes. On the health care front, when the administration wasn't successful in repealing health care, they've now gone to the courts and they're now trying to undermine through the back door uh, protections for people with pre existing conditions and health care like Healthy Michigan. Uh, so I'm focused on that and I'm leading an effort to expand mental health and addiction treatment. And we're making some progress there. I have a good bipartisan coalition, so I hope we can get that done.